It is May the 12th today. And I thought I'd do a garden update because lots has been growing and we planted more and got new plants to show you. So we're all starting off at the uh, local forest. It's absolutely taken over. I did uh, block this part off to make this more of a path and to keep the uh, moisture in here and block it off. So these goose, wild gooseberries need lots of, uh, lots of moisture. So this will help keep the uh, moisture in and all the schmag on top. So they like their feet wet. So that's the plan with those guys. Domesticated strawberries, look at that. You could have some nice strawberries this year. The uh, currants have finished blossoming, so the berries are forming. See it right there. Right there. Just starting, little green berries starting. And the blueberries are still blossoming like crazy. Beautiful. And, uh, Raspberries are haven't started flowering yet, but their their flowers are starting. You can see their buds are starting up there. So the roses are absolutely ridiculous. But down here, I did remove this rhubarb and I transplanted them to another area. I'll show you where I did. Um, but we're gonna plant more perennial flowers, like the uh, the lilies here. So flowers. So this probably will end up being a whole perennial flower garden so yeah that's gonna be cool and, uh, the popcorn is doing okay we've had a few coming up not a lot though see there's one there one over there but I don't know why they haven't been really popping up and then there's one I guess we'll just have to wait and see how the popcorn are doing I moved a lot of the schmeg on top and I plopped it back in there to the herb garden so that might have been a problem having the schmeg on top not quite sure but uh, yeah, oh yeah, we got the red beans starting to pop up over there, which is really cool. Mullen's huge, the sorrels are huge, tons of chamomile, lots of herbs, all sorts of stuff popping up. So we're gonna see what all this is. Most of this here is dill. Dill is everywhere. So we're gonna have plenty of dill to share. Check out the wild sage, look how tall he's gotten. That's insane. I'd like to uh, make some big smudge sticks out of this. I'm going to mix it with the uh, the sagebrush here and the wormwood and then a bit of this smudge, the sage. So it's gonna be an awesome blend for smudging and uh, I might be able to make some available for people online. So. If that is something you're interested in, is getting some uh, sage sticks from the garden, let me know because I'll have way too much for me to use by myself. You see the catnip popping up. This is a new flower. I believe it's called a calla, calla lily. I have the, the uh, it didn't come with a little thing. It came, the name was on the box. So I'll have to double check the, uh, on the bucket or whatever. The pail, thing, pot. Uh, we got these flowers as well. Beautiful. And we're trying to attract more pollinators because we did have a neighbor over there, down ways, that had uh, beehives. So his honeybees would come here all the time. But he's moving. So we haven't noticed nearly as many honeybees this year. So um, we're going to try to attract as many as we can because we won't have the hives nearby anymore which is really too bad but it is what it is right but we got the mints are popping up everywhere lots of mints lots of stuff i don't know these guys are all weeds that i don't want there's some kind of wild mustard green but i don't use them they're just popping up everywhere i'm just getting rid of them but i don't know if i'm going to be getting any uh Sweet grass, because so I planted sweet grass here during the fall. Um, hard to say if it's actually going to grow up or not. I would love, I would love that, but I guess we'll have to just wait and see. 
Still nothing. Still nothing from the zucchinis. It's really weird that they haven't started yet, but again, I guess we'll wait and see. I do have more seeds just in case. Uh, I did plant, I planted eggplants in here now. I did that the other day. So we have eggplants in there. Um, we've got more flowers, more flowers. We've got another flower pot over here. Very pretty. And uh, <clears throat> the lavenders. Catnip is absolutely huge. No shortage of catnip. I don't need to even harvest any catnip in the wild anymore because it just grows all over the place here. Stevia is looking a little sad, but I hope you'll hope you'll be okay. Rosemary's doing okay. Got another uh, lavender over here. That we're just kind of trying to keep alive. Some wildflowers right there. Giant hollyhock. The uh, onions are doing really well. Look how big they are. They're really happy, which makes me happy in return. So that's awesome. We have some red onions this year. And you can see the garlics are doing really well as well. And my shadow's in the way. Whoop. And here, look at them. <laughs> oh, a little bit too many brassicas. Um, I'm gonna have to sort through them obviously and figure out which ones are which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones not because there's just too too many too many all close together and I can obviously transplant them to different spots throughout other, the other gardens which I'll probably do probably end up doing that so holy hot so many so many wild strawberries flowers popping up everywhere and they're starting to creep in that direction uh, we got the potatoes coming up everywhere here over there too but there we have so much pak choy seeds that were just in here from last year and they're just coming up and these are all the garlics so um yeah that's a thing but we do have yeah, Egyptian walking onions coming up right here amongst the pak choy. So I have been starting to starting to uh, pluck on the pak choy for smoothies and salads, so that's good. And there's some weeds. I'll have to do some weeding in here. There's just a lot going on in this garden, which is not usual for my potato beds, but it's what it is this year. And we got some more beautiful flowers. Gorgeous. And check this out, artichoke. We got artichoke, and we got another one popping up in this bed. Whoop! Shadow. Look at that. Artichokes. That's really cool. I'm excited to try to grow that. And uh, the corn is doing well. The Anasazi corn. I um. Pretty soon here, uh, as they get, they say, right when it gets around five inches tall to uh, plant the uh, pole beans next and then a week after that plant the uh, squash so a lot of them are getting tall so I might do uh, might plant the uh, pole beans pretty soon so we're getting rid of a lot of the Swiss chard in here because it's just too too many and they're actually stunting the corn which is interesting yeah you can see it while everything's doing in the forest check out our rhubarb absolutely massive ridiculously big it's beautiful though those guys whoop flowers coming up this is where I moved the other rhubarb right next to him so we'll have big rhubarb big rhubarb that's pretty crazy oh and then we did get some local seeds so they're climatized to this area but they're melons so I got a cantaloupe and a watermelon variety and I put them out, I spaced them out properly. I didn't just throw them in this time, <laughs> but I put them around in here. So <clears throat> hopefully we'll get some stinking melons this year because I love melons and I've always wanted to grow them. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see the wildflowers are crazy. Lots of them are blossoming now. Kind of mustard green over there. 
It's like an orange dames rocket, kind of. And then here we have radishes, carrots coming up everywhere. And we also have these guys, which are the uh, the cabbages. Little cabbages. That's kind of cool. Yeah, like holy. Uh, this is a uh, pretty crazy bed. So it's probably um, well, it's carrots and uh, parsley because you can see. Pretty sure it's parsley. Either way, we'll see how this garden bed grows, and we'll just see see what we get out of this. See the peas are doing well. Amaranth's are really tiny. There's still only one, one, oops, one cucumber which is interesting but I was wondering if they were even fertile still so the flower pot that's the uh, sorghum starting to bloom will grow I'll put a bunch of parsnips in there so we're gonna have some parsnips again because I really enjoyed them oh and I did I got some tomatoes and some peppers for my dad and I planted them this morning um, this one here, Bonnie Best, is the variety. So these are all varieties from that he's grown. So we also got black cherry. We got Roma tomatoes. I threw some gold nugget cherry tomatoes seeds in here just for the heck of it, just to see if it would work. So see how that works. And I also threw some pepperic, pepperic, yeah, pepperic, uh, <clears throat> pepper seeds in here just to see what happens just more of an experiment for direct sowing and i also sprinkled uh sweet basil and dark basil dark opal basil all around in here all over the place because they uh are really good companion plants for peppers and tomatoes so that's gonna be cool but onto the peppers here we got sweetheart peppers there there and there two of them we got a california wonder and we got two jalapenos. So, lots of peppers right there. That's gonna be very really cool. I'm glad to see stuff planted in this bed finally. And, uh, oh, I've had the, um, I've had this thing sitting over top of these guys for the longest time. Look how much bigger they are. And those are all the tobaccos. Compared to the ones growing over there, like, those are all tobaccos. And they're growing really close together, so see like I'm gonna have to pick through some of them because there's just I'll have to wait till they get a bit older but yeah that's that I blocked off this little uh, hollyhock boy uh, I, oh yeah I planted some okras in here well, that's exciting mm, okras are kind of difficult to grow so I don't know if I'll be successful but it's something I've always wanted to try because they are a relative of hollyhocks and mallows and I also stuck them over here. I put some more eggplants right here. And I put some more okras right here. Just to for the heck of it. And then what did I plant here? Oh yeah, I, I decided to try planting some chickpeas. I mean, I don't know how well they would grow in this tiny little bed, this tiny little container, but I put some chickpeas in there. So we'll see how that goes. And, uh, oh yeah, the, look at the grapes, shooting up their buds. And either than that, it's a bit of a mess over here, but you can see the, well, the stinging nettles are really tall, and I've been harvesting some of them. Look at that, look at this one, how deformed it got, like, completely twisted. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen, huh. Either way, we've been eating some of those, and uh, we have all sorts of stuff popping up. Mainly radishes and other weeds and stuff. And then it turned out that we had a hops plant growing right here. So I made this little trellis, and now it's starting to grow up. So heck yeah, hops are really cool. Really good uh, muscle relaxants, apparently, which is something I need because I'm a jittery uh, piece of poo. Anyways, over here, uh, we got the last two garden beds I have to show you. 
just the mustard greens just everywhere so yeah no shortage of no shortage of mustard greens and no shortage of lettuce and spinach so we're good on that we're good for the salad department I'm going to give some away hopefully to neighbors and uh, family and friends because uh, share the wealth for the organic food grown at the urban permaculture garden anyways thanks for watching this uh, recent update and that's pretty much everything that's growing on in the garden uh, in May on May the 12th and I got some news actually I will be going on a two night overnighter bushcraft well bush camping trip as far as we know it will be two nights um, if not one night but I think it'll be two nights because one night's lame uh, so we're gonna do that we're gonna go out to the middle of the woods to this one little campsite that we've been to before that you guys have never seen and we're gonna try to go fishing for uh, wild brook trout and eat wild edibles and uh, yeah do a little bit of a kind of a survival catch and cook kind of a deal so yeah stay tuned for that we're going this weekend so the videos will be up in a while <laughs> but be ready for that so if you haven't subscribed already hit that subscribe button anyways make sure you uh, have a good day and I'll catch you in the next one Peace.